Today, I'm going to show you how to make a battery out of 10 copper coins. If you've got any dirty or tarnished coins, we'll start by cleaning them off. Put them into a bowl and pour in a little vinegar. Then add some salt and give them a good mix with your finger. After a minute, they should be nice and clean. So you can take them out and dry them with a paper towel. Next, we need to take a piece of card and draw round one of our coins. We're going to need nine circles in total, but I'm doing one extra just in case. Then take your scissors and cut them all out. When you've done them all, put them into a bowl and soak them in vinegar. Next, we need to take some foil and fold it over a number of times so it looks like this. It needs to be just big enough for our coin to fit on so we can draw around it. Then cut it out. We should have a load of foil circles. Again, we only need nine, but I've got a couple extra, just in case. We're now going to put the battery together, so start by placing down a coin. Then put on top one of the cardboard discs. Then add one piece of foil. Next add another copper coin on top. And keep repeating the process. You need to be careful that the foil doesn't fold down the side and contact any other layers. When you're done, it should look like this. And I'm going to use a multimeter to see what sort of voltage it generates. As you can see, this stack of 10 coins pushes out an impressive 4 volts. So that we can use the battery, I'm going to connect this wire using a strip of tape. Stick the wire to the tape and sit the battery cells on top. Then hold the wire in position on top and wrap around the tape. I'm also adding a couple of insulated crocodile clips to the end of the wire to make it easy to connect to things. When you're done, it should look like this. I'm now going to see if it's got enough power to light up an LED. And I'm going to take one out of this old LED keyring which has got flat batteries. Once it's out, attach it to the crocodile clips and it should light up. Dim the lights a little and you can see it really is bright. Pretty amazing considering what's powering it. I wanted to see if it had enough energy to power my TV remote. So I took the batteries out and connected mine. And to my amazement, when I tried it, it actually worked. Pretty cool.